Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. We're gonna jump right into it today because we have a lot of just kind of normal maintenance today. Nothing really major going on, but we do need to get butterscotch out so we can do some maintenance in the cage. Uh, and it's a great time. Whoa, uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you give me a hook real quick? I don't think uh, she's going to be real uh, cooperative at the moment here. I think, you know, she just ate a huge meal a few days ago. You wouldn't think that she was still uh, hyped up, but she definitely is. So I just have to make sure she understands that I'm not food. It's okay, girl. I'm not food. I'm not food, okay? We're not food. All right, she's a great snake, and she's not mean at all, but she does like to eat. So a lot of times when she's got... Whoa! All right, then. We're just gonna get her, it's okay. Take some time sometimes to get her convinced that I'm not gonna feed her. Okay, girl, okay. You're all right, sweetheart. Okay, you got that, this for a second, got this for a second. Okay, there we go, girl. There we go, sweetheart. Okay, here we go. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Tell you what, she is quite the animal. She's a little bucking right now, which is usually not a great sign, but I think she's gonna be okay. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of walk this way with Eric helping me out. I'll let Andrea get in. I'll let Andrea get to do her thing. Whoa, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There she goes, there she goes. Woo! Right Woo! She got away. Woo! So Butterscotch is getting a lot bigger. She ate two nice big rabbits just the other day, and she is definitely. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there we go. Right. Here we go. Here we go. She is definitely a handful. Again, I've talked about the fact that I need her to kind of calm down with her running. Now, she isn't like Lucy in the sense that if I'm doing this with Lucy, I've got to be worried about her biting me as well. With this girl, it's really just, oh, oh my gosh. Whoa, hang on a second. Okay. Yeah, she gave me a little bit of a, a, a nudge to my face. <laughs> She's something else here. Hold that back in, please. Sure. I got that front end. Okay. Here we go, girl. She is really hyped up today. She's normally not like this. She's got me wore out. It's a lot of work, huh? Big snake! Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm just gonna spend some time with her. She's starting to calm down a little bit as she runs out of energy. We'll get her back after Andrew is done with the maintenance. And Oh my God, I think I'm gonna need a nap. We got a busy day today, guys. Doggy, I tell you what, that took a lot of energy, huh, Eric? That, oh my that's good gosh. workout. Oh. I keep thinking she's gonna calm down and she's gonna be an even calmer snake when she gets bigger, but she just gets bigger and harder to handle. But what an amazing snake. It's so nice to be able to handle a snake that size and not have to worry about it biting at least, except when you're taking it out. So good snake. Gonna probably do a little maintenance on Daisy right now, and then uh, then we'll move on to the next thing of the day. Back to some big snake maintenance. Eric is back here helping me out. And basically this one's pretty easy. Actually, Daisy's cage looks pretty good. She does have a urate right all the way in the back over there. She looks a little funky right now. Like, no, it's not meal time. It's not meal time. There you go, sweetheart. You're okay. She's a great snake. I mean, you certainly don't have to be concerned about her biting or doing anything. We know that. And she's not a runner like that other retic earlier today. That's for sure. So I'm just going to let Eric kind of babysit her. I'll go and clean that urate up. Just make sure the rest of her cage is okay. So there you go, sweetie. Oh, she's getting big, isn't she? Here you go, baby. Ah, huge. Here you go, baby. Oh. Get her untwisted. There we go. I'll let you take that. I'm going to go right. in her cage, all right? Awesome. All right, so. All right. When you're working with snakes like that, like Daisy, even though she's super tame, you still really want to have two people because you don't want to be over there alone. She just has some urate over here I need to clean up real quick. Nothing major. Get the cage all spot cleaned up and basically looking good. I'll go through, do a quick maintenance over here, make sure she's got fresh water. Go spend a little bit of time with her because she's so absolutely amazing. And then uh, that'll be it for the big snake maintenance for the day. Probably 100 pounds. <laughs> what do you think, Eric? Dude, this is a workout. This is one of my, I love this snake though so much. You're sweating a little yeah. bit, dude. Yeah, we got the heat and the weight. Doesn't work good. <laughs> Here she goes. Oh gosh. I mean, oh, oh, she's using my leg. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. That's a big snake right there. Look at her. We can go ahead and just get her back in. We'll just kind okay. of guide her back in there. Sure. There you go, baby. Come on, girl. I think she was going to do it right on her own. There you go, sweetie. <laughs> 
I tell you what, I'm not going to lie, just working with big snakes is just such a privilege. I mean, it's something that you have to respect a tremendous amount because, listen, these are big animals. You have to be really respectful for their power and potential. But when you have a snake like Daisy here that has nine years of just never, ever trying to bite anyone, you know that you don't have to worry too much, but you still have to be smart. Again, big snakes, big responsibilities. Bella's actually been acting a little weird the last week or so. A couple days she didn't want to come down for a banana or any type of thing. Then she kind of went back to normal. Today she's been a little bit bizarre too. I've been trying to get her to come down for anything. She won't. So I'm just going to go in her cage, spend a little bit of time with her and make sure she's okay because you guys know I love her so much and I don't know what's upsetting her. So I've got to make sure that things are okay because again, she's such a star. We need her to come down because people love meeting her. So Bella, you okay, baby girl? You okay, baby? You okay, baby? You okay, lovey? Are you okay? You okay? Oh, that's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. You okay? All right. That's a good girl. Well, she's acting okay. I mean, she's puffing up like she always does. She doesn't seem to be upset or anything like that. Just Andrew said earlier, she kind of ran around a little bit. So we're not really sure what happened. So we're gonna go ahead and just spend a lot more time with her. Just kind of continue to show her how much we love her and make sure she's okay. It's all right, baby girl. I love you so much. So, okay, so I guess things look okay. We'll just keep a close eye on her with her. And I think I'm gonna just have to put even more Bella time in. These days, internet security is so important. I personally had an issue with this a few years ago where it was an absolute nightmare. And what I did is I turned to ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN enables users worldwide to protect their privacy and security online within just a few clicks. Without a VPN, your credit card information is wide open to hackers when you're online shopping. ExpressVPN encrypts your internet data, preventing others from sniffing your information over the network. Shop online with peace in mind thanks to ExpressVPN. Not only did I kind of secure things without allowing people to get my IP address, but I really used ExpressVPN when I traveled to places like China. When I needed to upload a YouTube video, you can't get to Google or YouTube in China. So what I did was I used ExpressVPN to get an IP address from Hong Kong or even New York, whichever was the fastest at the moment. ExpressVPN is consistently faster than the other VPN providers. Literally, with just one click, you're ready to go. All you do is log on, you look for the fastest or wherever you want your IP address to come from. Let's say it's Singapore, New York, whatever. You pick that one, one click later, it logs on and you're ready to go. And it's just as easy when you have an Android phone or an iPhone. Literally, you just log on, you pick whatever IP address you want from wherever you want it, one click later and you're logged on and you're safe and ready to go. Get three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash Brian Barczyk for all the information and learn all about it. And after that, it's less than $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Okay, so this is the deal. Oh, no. uh, Jay I guessed best age. Wrong. He said that Beth was 46. Yeah, 46. Which she's younger than that. Let's just put it a that way. Younger. I'm a so glad, dude. And, uh, and, and Eric, what did you think? I was, I like 58, like a, 50? you know, 59. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously. Actually, after you revealed your age, I'm being honest, not being a kiss ass, I thought you were younger. I know. Oh, so, Eric, I know no, he's being a total. He's kissing up now. He's know, kissing up now. Eric, and just a second ago, said yeah. that she should get a life alert. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll, I'll go back to Florida. Where are you going, bro? I know where you live, Eric. I, I have fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, back to your normally scheduled vlog. Hey, what's up, guys? Checking back in with me. Just kind of doing some pretty basic, kind of boring stuff. Some would say I think it's very exciting. So, we're doing lots of cleaning, lots of spot cleaning, and uh, kind of the key to a uh, healthy large collection. I would definitely say is keeping everything clean. See, look at this, it's not pretty, but we gotta get in there. We'll get that poop out. No gloves, no gloves. 
and uh, get it thrown away. And most of the times, these guys' cages will be completely destroyed. I go through, I have to revamp the whole cage. I have to change water. Sometimes we get shipment. So I guess today is kind of like a maintenance day, you could say. Okay guys, so we're just wrapping it up here and I really can't stress enough how the cleanliness of the animal's enclosure, cage, whatever it is, is like the key, the key to having a great collection. So you can have the food, you can have the cage size, you can have everything else right. If it doesn't have a clean environment, it's not gonna be healthy. So with that being said, a clean snake is a healthy snake. A healthy snake is a happy snake. Happy snake sell, your boy Eric gets to keep his job. To say life is busy is an understatement. I mean, just with all the snakes, all the things we have to do. This, by the way, is a beautiful Honduran milk snake. Uh, it has just absolutely been insane this last few months. This is the first year I told you guys that we're open at the Reptarium. I'm daily vlogging and producing snakes, and we're having a really good year. So, wow, have we been busy. One of the things me and Lori have talked about is trying to take some just kind of self-time. And uh, so we're going to head to the park. It's a beautiful day outside. And just see if we can get some R&R &R before we come back, because we still have a lot to do later on this afternoon. We're super lucky to to have this park literally like a half mile away. It's got the nice river over here. Phoebe absolutely loves coming out. It's just a great way to kind of get away. And again, me and Lori talked about trying to kind of carve more of these things into our life just to make uh, it more enjoyable <laughs> because we do have a tendency to just work day to night. So uh, just gonna take some time and enjoy this. Phoebe's real happy. You know, I'm always preaching about like working hard to get where you want to go. But the truth is, is that, you know, your mental health is so important. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been pretty mentally drained over the last few months because it's been so busy. So doing things like this is just as important as working hard because ultimately, if you feel refreshed, your work is going to be easier to do when you get back to it. So uh, I tell it, I really needed this. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Just one Kluber clutch today, and it's actually an albino Nelson's milk snake, and it's actually bred to this male right here, which is a bullseye male. Absolutely gorgeous animal. Look at the red in that animal. Really ridiculous. Here's Mama. She's over here. We'll take her shed out. Again, we'll get her all set up, get some water in her, all that good stuff. And let's go ahead and see what she has as far as eggs in here. Here we go. Oh, okay. It's kind of a small clutch. Certainly not a whole lot. It looks like there's just three eggs in here. That's it. Three little eggs. Mama, you didn't have very many eggs. But still, albino to albino is gonna get all albinos. And then that bullseye, that increased amount of red, where basically the bands right here, which are called triads, actually turn into bullseyes instead. Basically, you have more red in the size. It's actually a polygenic trait. So over years, breeding bullseye to bullseye to bullseye, you'll get more bullseye. We should be able to see some influence in bullseyes in this clutch right here. One clutch in the dungeon today, and it's an exciting one. I know one that you've been waiting for. Uh, this was a lorry female bred to a lorry male. All right, so we could get some super lorries. Kelsey loves the lorry project, so let's see if she laid good eggs. She did have one slug a little while ago, so let's hope. Look, you can see. Oh, you know what's interesting? That egg is interesting. That's actually a retained egg from last year. Really? That is a 100% retained egg from last year. So this girl must have had an egg hiding up in her where we didn't see it. And then what ends up happening is as she's pushing out her fresh clutch, she pushes out the egg from last year. Wow, that's crazy. But it does look like she's got some good eggs. Hopefully a bunch of them in there. I can see one sparkling. Yep, they all look good. Oh yeah, and look at you can definitely Ooh. tell she doesn't have any eggs in her this year, that is for sure. So that is really exciting. Again, look at how goofy that egg looks Ooh. right there. Should well we obviously clean that up? Yeah, we probably want to clean these eggs up. So when the eggs right. get like kind of dirty like that, you could just take a damp towel and actually just wipe them off and it'll dry off no problem. Those eggs should be perfect. It looks like we got five eggs. Now again, Lori to Lori is a one in four potential odds for super. So we definitely have a shot for a super Lori ball python. So absolutely incredible and quite wild too. Whoop, watch out, Mama. Quite wild to see that an animal can retain an egg for an entire year and then pass it. As always, good job, Kelsey. Thank you. Okay, so we got our first clutch of Colubridge, which are the Brooks Kings that I need to set up. So I got my tubs, just got to put some bedding in them. So this is an interesting clutch. I wasn't expecting these guys, but now that I think about it, the whole albino and jelly Brooks gene is very strange. So it looks like 
what Brian had said, there's some normals and some peanut butters in here, which is a type of kind of hypomelanistic. So I'm gonna wash these guys off, get the vermiculite and stuff off of them. And then I will go ahead and put each one into its new home. All right, guys, what an eventful day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm gonna wish you guys an amazing day, evening, because I love you guys. Do me a favor, be kind to someone. I promise, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Dude.